Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you my new build. And you may know that the boss HQ in the Appalachia is here. This is the Atlas Fort Atlas. Yeah, but it's not true. There's only one Red Steel HQ in the entire game and it's called Lost Hill Bunker. It looks like simple. We have a banner outside, a small building with a shaft which leads directly to the, you know, the bunker, which is underground. So this is my interpretation. I like this spot because I have naturally here two soldiers, Brad and Lostil soldiers. Every time we log in, they are different. That's great. So Raider Punk, my favorite ally in camp. And as you can see, it's really simple build from outside, also from inside. I have a crab here. Because I would like to craft the liquid courage. And let's remove the weapon. Here are the necessary workbenches I'm using daily. As a power armor user, I don't need to uh, I need, don't need to do armor one, which this is outside. We have Raider Punk here, it's his favorite table, and Tipsy Tom. Small weapon gallery. Everything is like an ordinary boss field station. Behind, we have entrance to the utility room, which I create as a escape game. You will see. So I don't would like to present you everything because there's a little secret, many secrets here, but it look like this. Okay, small shooting range. With a secret, you have to find out the code to enter the next room and the next room. You know how the game is played. So we have to port out because I don't want to show you the code. <laughs> this is really strange. I was looking for the lady with the guitar and I killed this guy and he laid on the, on the lock and it looks like I'm executing him. <laughs> so it's really strange, but I took a picture of it. So... You may enjoy my imagination. And what I would like to present to you most is how the boss HQ looks like. So let's teleport inside. First, we have to describe how it looks like. In the first floor, you have uh, scribes and some kind of fitness and so on. So I change it. You can only enter this area with these cleaning arcs which are active we can switch them and enter the galleria here we are in a lobby here we have workbenches power armor racks everything the troops need for the repair of their gear we have a field surgeon here you can control the arcs monitor everything this is a small hospital every necessary stuff here and smaller room for the most injured hard of steel soldiers if we will go up you can see this is the fitness area as i mentioned also something for music recreation area and my favorite aquarium and also we have a reactor core room I have two reactors here, hidden behind these walls. You can monitor everything. But if you would like to eat, we have an eating area. You can serve the meal for the guys. We have a toilet here for ladies and boys. Pity that don't, we cannot use the sink because I would like to put a sink here, but we cannot use it inside. That's strange. And here, here we have something which is in the Brad of Steel Lost Bunker Hills. It's an area where can where can you, as a as a elder, say to your troops what is the next mission. So this is how it looks like. I locked it because I don't want to be moved when someone enters so that's the reason 
and we have three separated entrances to another parts of this room. Here we have a briefing room with the models of Appalachia maps, so everything you have to, you know, deal with, you can, you can, you know, have a briefing here. This is my personal quarter, recreation area, and my personal bathroom, toilet, bath, everything necessary. Yeah, so we can go outside. And let's have a look for the last part, which is the residential area. Every room we have is the similar and it has the same thing. Well, it's shower. I like to use, use this. Uh, toilet. It's Spartan because I'm on the limit of the budget. As you can see, it's completely built. The differences between these rooms are only the wallpapers. But still the same build. And on the other side, I like this. You can look down through these glass windows and see what's down there. What is the rush? And here we have a barracks for the troops. Simple like in Fallout 1, so, you know, bunk bed, every necessary stuff. And here we have uh, showers and toilets for the troops. So that's all. I tried to emulate the boss HQ as much possible as I was able. This is how I've done it. If you have any questions, let me ask. No problems. And yeah, I guess that you enjoyed it as most of my videos. So have a nice day, guys, and stay in touch.